So they gave us factored form. Factored form is going to be y equals a times x minus p times x minus q. All right? And what factored form tells us is it's really easy to find the x-intercepts in factored form because my x-intercepts are going to be p0, q0. Those would be my two x-intercepts. And so that's a really cool thing about factored form. All right? So now the other one form... The next one we're going to talk about is going to be vertex form. So vertex form, oh uh, wait, let's do this way. Vertex form is when we have y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And out of vertex form, the cool thing is, is we know what the vertex is. The vertex is going to be h, k. And that is really, really helpful. And then, the other one, pause my recording. I was telling good stuff. Perfect. So to go from factored form to standard, we, we're going to FOIL. All right? So now, we're, we, if we want, we could just use the box. So we have y equals x plus 5 times x minus 3. So we could do that box method to FOIL. And so we just put x here, 5 here, x here, and negative 3 there. And it doesn't matter if you put the x minus 3 on top and the x plus 5 on the side. It just makes no difference. But we want to put one of the binomials on top and one binomial on the side. And now we just kind of do this like our times tables. So this box here is x times x. So it's x squared. This box is going to be the x times 5. This box here, negative 3 times x. So negative, negative 3x. And down here, negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Good job. Now, the numbers on our diagonal, that's outside inside. And we're going to have to add those up together. So, in standard form, that was going to give us y equals x squared plus 2x minus 15. Okay? So now... Wait, so you added the diagonals? Yes. So we add the diagonals. And so now what we... Mm -hmm. After I mul do this multiplying, once I do the multiplying the first four multiplications in FOIL, then everything else after that is adding. Oh. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the square. And when I complete the square, that's going to get me vertex form. All right. So on completing the square, we just came up with this idea. Um, if there is no A, and that's what we're going to talk about right now because we haven't had A for a while, so what we're going to do is we're going to go with y equals, and then we're just going to write down x squared plus 2x. And I need to come up with a new third number. All right? Then I'm going to minus the 15, and then turn around and subtract that same new number that I came up with. All right? In algebra, everything has to be fair. So if I'm going to turn around and add a number, i got to turn around and subtract a number. It's kind of like volleyball. If you're going to put somebody you knew on the court, you got to take somebody else off the court, right? And that's exactly what we're going to do here. 
All right. So now the goal of this, why we, we're doing that, is because I want to make this a perfect square trinomial. Okay. So here's how here's how we do it. And at the same time as we're making this perfect square trinomial, we're also going to build vertex form. All right. So here's what happens. So we're going to go y equals, and down here we're going to get x something squared. And I can pretty much write that without thinking, all right? Now, to come up with the number that goes in this box right here, the parentheses, I have to take the middle number, divide it by 2. So what is positive? Always dividing by 2. So we'll always divide that by 2. So that's a good note. Make sure you put that in a note. So we're going to divide B by 2 every single time. So what is 2x divided by 2? Or just 2 divided by 2? 2 divided by 2 is 1, right? So positive 1. Yes, whatever sign this is, because we're dividing it by 2. So if that's negative 2, it would be negative 1. If it was positive 2, it's going to be a positive 1. All right? Now, to get this number here, I'm going to take this number here, 1, and square it. So what is 1 squared? So I put 1 here and 1 there. So now... The pr this trinomial here that we created, that's where I completed the square, all right? Okay, that's this part. Now this out here is my k. So what is negative 15 plus negative 1? So negative 16. So I owe somebody $15, and then I so owe somebody else another dollar. So that'd be net negative 16, right? So minus 16. So out of that, I, you know, that's now my vertex form, and I should have written over here, y equals x plus 1 squared minus 16. And that would be my vertex form.